Welcome to Your Sport Swindon. I'm here with Swindon super middleweight Calvin Young, um, who's, who's just landed a British Masters shot. We'll be fighting in Gloucester next month. Looking forward to that? I'm looking forward to it, yeah. Obviously, um, we, we didn't know who I was going to be fighting. Um, we didn't even know I was going to be on the show, to be honest. Um, I was meant to be fighting this weekend uh, against Christoph. Um, but that, that's, that's, he got injured, so that, that, won't, that, that didn't happen. Um, I got straight on the phone with Keith and I said, look, I need, I need someone to replace that ASAP. Um, he said, yeah, we've got the, we've got the Gloucester show. If anything, don't, house don't come in, then they yeah, go on the Gloucester show. So, um, so yeah, I was, I was glad to get on there. But I wanted to get back fighting for a title as well, which is, um, I think that brings the best out of me. So, um, so I sort of, sort of said to Keith, um, you know, can we get a title fight? Um, we was hoping to get a, a massive goal belt. It was discussing mm -hmm. about that. Um, but obviously that didn't happen. Um, but yeah, so now we are, I'm happy to get the, the opponent of what I wanted. Um, it could have been out of two people, but um, I'm happy to get get get, get the Joe off. I'm um, happy with that. So um, yeah, I just want to put it to bed, get a win against him, and you know, right off the uh, draw in the last one. I mean, you're also disappointed that the Hobbs fight didn't happen because you're really looking forward to that, and you're quite excited about going on the road as well. So important to have. Landed a you know another big fight like yeah. this so soon. I think with the Hobbs fight, I think I want I just want to box someone in their backyard. I mean, I, I don't want really no pressure on me selling tickets. And now I'm on Keith Show in Gloucester, you know, I've got a sale ticket, so I think I've got to be doing mine about the engine and 30 mark, it's just an edit really, but it's got to be done. But, um, with the Hobbs fight, yeah, I didn't have to sell no tickets, I was going down, all the pressure had been on him, and you know, it would have been a nice feeling, but you know, I think that comes later on. I think I will, I will. Get myself out there and box someone in their backyard, um, which I'm looking forward to doing. But you know, for now I've got to concentrate on Joe Watt and then put that put that fight to bed. Get a good win against him. And, you know, it's an eight-round fight. And the last one was a six, and I didn't get going until late in August. So I'm looking forward to getting back in there. Yeah, I mean, talk to us about the last fight against Joe. It didn't quite happen for you, did you? And it ended up in a in a draw. Well, yeah, it was, he likes to spoil the fight, man. He's he's he's, he's sort of like messed it up a bit. He's quite rough on the inside. Um, I was trying to make, I was trying to turn it into a fight, but you know, he, he had his game plan, I had my game plan, but um, obviously it didn't jowl as much, but I think, I, I know what I've got to do in this fight against him, now, now I fought, fought him, but, um, and like I say, I was over the eight round distance as well, I think, I think I'll be a lot better. You're more comfortable going, doing the longer rounds? Yeah, I, was, I never seem to perform when it's just six rounds or something like that, but, um, when I do eight or ten, you know, I really get going from six to eight. Yeah. And, you know, I think it suits me down to the ground. So, um, and this is down at super middleweight, which is more natural weight as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to be, and obviously there was a lot of things that happened building up to that last fight, but you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting down there, mm -hmm. getting out in Gloucester and getting a few people down there and get, getting back to winning weight. Getting, getting the winning against Joe Watt. I mean, you, you talked talk to us, you mentioned there that um, you know, things have, have, have gone a little bit wrong for you ahead of the last two fights, you know. Can you pinpoint what's, what's happened to your career? Because you, you hit the heights of, you know, IBO Intercontinental Champion. Um, and then since then, it's, it's just not happened for you, is it? No, I, don't, I, I can't really put, put, put my finger on anything that's gone wrong. But, you know, after this last fight, I've, I've just been straight, straight back in the gym, really, taking over, getting my weight back down to the middle of it. Um, I think after the big fight against Chicago, I needed a break, but maybe I had a bit too long. I went to America, you know, put too much weight on. Um, and yeah, I just wasn't fresh. I flew back from Africa, got straight into a into a training camp. Um, and I, I was just, you know, I was, I was, I've done too much in a short amount of time, and I went over the over the edge. Yeah. Um, but now I'm getting my weight down. Um, I'm living a lot. You know, I think this fight will will see the best in me again. Yeah. And you know, behind the scenes, you you tinkered a little bit. You know, you you split from Rich and. You went with some guys from Bristol, and now I believe you're back with um, Joe Rona, is that right? Yeah, yeah, my intention was to stay with Joe anyway, but um, obviously I was going down to Bristol, I liked it down there, and down with being people and with that, and yeah, I really enjoyed it down there, but obviously building up to my last fight, um, the, the, the night before the, the fight, I crashed my car, so mm. I had no transport getting to Bristol, um, so I started training with Joe, and I'd done the first few weeks with Joe, and I thought, you know, what's, what's the point of me going down to Bristol now when I've been with Joe, we've been working on things and yeah. you know, I think it was working nicely. So. And of course Joe's your old amateur coach as well, yeah. so you know, it's kind of 
it's nice and comfortable and, and you both know each other really well so it should be a, a match made in heaven yeah you? I'll definitely uh, he, he knows me better than anybody he's coached me since I was like seven eight years old so but yeah I'm looking forward to getting out there with me and and that and then uh, getting back to winning weight so what's got to change for this fight you know what, what have we got to what have we got to see from you to see the old old Calvin Young obviously getting to get down to my natural weight which is uh, the main factor of it as soon as I get down to 12 stone, which I'm, I'm not far off now, um, I think I'm going to be, the speed's going to be there, and then the, the movement and the boxing ability will be back to the sharp. Uh, so I'm looking forward to um, getting in there in my way. And, you know, I've had two fights a lot everywhere, and it's not my, it's not my division. Yeah. You're more comfortable at Super Bowl. I've done a lot of running, and it's it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I already think they'll be certainly a big performance. And assuming you beat Joe, um, you know, what will this lead to for you now? Because you've been considering going on the road and just earning money out of boxing. No, no, that's, that's definitely not my agenda. But I mean, I'm, I'm not just looking to getting out on the road. Um, I want some big fights. But, you know, if there's fights out there on the road in someone's backyard that I believe I can win, then yeah, I'll take it. But, um, yeah, I've, I've already spoke to, like I said, there's two people in the running for this fight. And one of the other people was Sam Cousin. You know, it's, it's one of each, one each of me and Sam. So we'd like to fight him again. Yeah, yeah. We, we both agreed that um, you know we're, we're friends now. We're yeah. good friends now. The first two fights, we didn't even know it could win. Especially the second fight, there's a lot of needle there. Um, but you know, this fight, the, the third fight with him will be a bit different. We'll be friends, but yeah. we'll put friendship to the side for, for one fight. And then, but yeah, we've agreed that you know, let, in the next fight will be me and Sam. Yeah. And I'm hoping that'll be over 10 or 12 rounds. It's going to be a big one. We've got to make it big. And yeah. it's got to be in Swindon, right? I think um, it's, going to, it's going to bring in a big crowd because we jar. We jar well. So, yeah, I think get, this, get a win against Joe Walsh and then we'll start looking at planning something for me and Sam. Yeah. So, what, what's the plan for the rest of the year? What, what sort of things are you, you looking at and hoping to achieve? Well, I'd say just, just getting back on the title trail and beating Joe Walsh over eight rounds, get the massive title. And then, you know, I'm going to keep my weight down, um, get married in August as well. So keep the weight down, uh, get out of the way, get the wedding out of the way, and then really get back into the gym. And we'll plan some out with me and Sam um, towards, towards the end, well, towards Christmas time, get a big show in Swindon, and yeah. you know, we'll, we'll have a solo. And then who knows after that, we'll, we'll see where I'll go after that. Excellent. Well, best of luck for your next fight. Uh, let's hope we're looking at a British Masters champion. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right. Thank, Thank you. Cheers.